Clashes between Hayat Tahrir al-Sham and militants from the Far Ifbatu coalition continue in the countryside of Idlib. The sides briefly reached a tactical ceasefire on June 25th and even removed checkpoints between Idlib city, mostly controlled by Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, and the town of Jashir al-Shagur, which is the Far Ifbatu rear base. Nonetheless, as of June 26, the fighting once again resumed after Hayat Tahrir al-Sham attacked positions of Haras al-Din and Ansar al-Din near the villages of Yakubie and al Janodia. Intense fighting was also ongoing near Arab Said. Local sources claim that both sides are now using battle tanks. According to supporters of Fa Ithbatu, the Al Qaeda linked coalition captured two battle tanks belonging to Hayat Tahrir al Sham and damaged another one. Hayat Tahrir al Sham says it's ready to accept a ceasefire only if Haras al Din, Ansar al Din, and other members of Fa Ithbatu remove checkpoints that they have established near Idlib city over the past few days. Control over the movement of goods and people in the Idlib countryside is one of the pillars of the Hayat Tahrir al-Sham influence and allows it to collect various fees and fines there. So the group sees any presence of other forces on key roads in Greater Idlib as a threat to its interests. Currently, the main opposition to Hayat Tahrir al-Sham is located in Jashir Ashagur. The main point of contradiction between Hayat Tahrir al-Sham and other Al-Qaeda-linked groups is that Fa Ithbatu wants its own share of the revenue, which can be collected by exploiting the militant-held part of Greater Idlib. This sets the conditions for further confrontation until a new balance of power within the militant-held area is found.